This has been a really special time for both Judah and I. I mean, we've been really busy and life has been really crazy, but we've been engaged for so long. This is just a really cool experience for us that we're finally making it happen, um, you know, through career changes and everything that COVID's thrown at us and whether or not we wanted to get married up north or get married here, it's just kind of been a logistical nightmare. So the fact that we pulled it together um, at this point we, in time is she awesome. It <laughs> I mean, maybe, but <laughs> he's still been a big help and a big support. Um, but life's been really crazy, and I just think it's really special that all of you guys are here with us, and it makes me so emotional. I'm not gonna cry. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and there. The day of. <laughs> um, I just really love each and every one of you guys and thank you for being here. This is the time to really, both of you, just soak it all in, enjoy it, because tonight and tomorrow is gonna be the best day of your life. Brooklyn, you are a portrait that people would spend millions on. I mean, you're just a vision. Thank you for showing me what love and true friendship is. I mean, I'm moved. I'm so moved by not only being part of this for y'all two, but I'm so impressed with you two. I am so in love with y'all's love. Y'all are gonna be just fine. Like, y'all are gonna be just fine. It's so hard to believe that we are here uh, for my oldest daughter's wedding day. And it seems like yesterday I was writing happy birthday, first birthday to Brooklyn in the sand at the beach. And I've got pictures of it. And she's just trying to stand there in the sand on the uneven ground. And now here we are, she's getting married. And Brooklyn, you have grown into such a beautiful, amazing young lady inside and out. I'm so, so proud to have you as my daughter. I'm so blessed. Brooklyn, you're honestly one of the most beautiful, hardworking, level-headed, and nearly perfect person I've ever gotten to know. And when they say opposites attract, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> because, Judah, you're none of those things. But, in all seriousness, I've seen many relationships exist in this lifetime, and I've come to realize that everyone and every couple has their own definition of love, and being able to watch you guys grow together and define it for yourselves has been one of the best chapters in my book. You doing okay? <laughs> she had just been informed that in order to graduate on time, she was gonna need to squeeze in one more science course that semester. Chemistry 105 was the only course that met all criteria, but the only thing was, the first lecture was beginning in five minutes. She makes it on time, scans the room for an empty seat, and immediately makes eye contact with this guy who's wearing a Say Yes to Michigan shirt. <laughs> it's like the universe was handing Brooklyn the most perfect opening to say hello. Brooklyn walked straight up to Judah and asked if he was from Michigan. They immediately hit it off. <laughs> They chatted in hushed voices about their shared childhood home, the things they remembered, the things they missed. They learned that they grew up only three hours from one another and that their family has moved, had moved to South Carolina right around the same time. From that day forward, Judah and Brooklyn were inseparable. When the story of how they first met was shared with me, I couldn't help but feel like their meeting was kismet. Both born in Michigan, both moved to South Carolina, both at USCA. It's almost as if the universe made sure these two were never too far away from each other, allowing them to travel on separate paths, but ensuring they were always headed in the same direction. I'm so unbelievably fortunate to be able to call such an amazing person my wife. Your determination inspires me, your patience calms me, and your life serves as a bountiful blessing to all that have come to know you. I will value you relentlessly as a partner, both in life and in love. I will see you as my equal, no matter the circumstance. 
I will always advocate for your point of view and always put your priorities before my own. <laughs> These promises will be difficult to keep and no marriage is perfect. However, I've never met anybody who makes me more willing to wake up and try to make every day better than the last. <laughs> I think back on the day I met you quite often and the million emotions I felt in those moments make complete sense now. I just didn't understand the importance of the rules that we would play in each other's lives just yet. God. <laughs> because of you, I have truly grown to understand how imperfect and complicated love truly is. Because love is not always all the flowers you bring home to me just because. Or the travels far from home that bond us closer than ever. Or our favorite spring weather that makes us feel unstoppable until your allergies kick in. <laughs> or the high we rode for the longest time when we met. Our love is a combination of following our instincts, all of the past and present memories, plus all of our future hopes and dreams. Our love is, you know, part of just uncomfortable sacrifice sometimes. Our love is real and it's perfect to me. Share in the joys and weather the storms. Enjoy all the little things, the quiet times the long walks, the long drives, the long weekends. It's those times together that you're quiet and you're together as a couple. Those are the times to cherish. She's selfless to the end and loves so hard. She makes time for even the smallest creature in her busy schedule. She's the type of person we should all be more like. In closing, I'd like to share a quote. <laughs> from her favorite author, F. Scott Fitzgerald. I fell in love with her courage, her sincerity, and her flaming self-respect. And it's these things I could believe, even if the whole world indulged in wild suspicions that she wasn't all that she could be. I love her, and that is the beginning of everything. By the power vested in me by the internet and the state of South Carolina, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You make the right. Now make you strong. Show you all my numbness into my voice in your head.